So Ryan is going to be on the show on Wednesday. This coming up Wednesday. I wish I had a gig. I could not be here. For I know. <laughs> you know, and I was, if I'm like, what am I going to do? Say, sorry, Ryan. I know that you're going to go get to uh, play ten more songs on his guitar. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, and so Ryan Cabrera was a last minute. The two days ago canceled, uh, postponed. I should say. And uh, so then yesterday, I called up my friends at the band Lustra. And uh, and they were all set to go. They were super excited. We started promoting the show last night, and uh, everything was locked and loaded. Got this, I got up this morning, and I got a, a text message from Nick, which I thank God. I guess thank God I got the text message this morning. They thought that the show was at nine forty-five tonight, like that they were supposed to be here at the studio at nine forty-five tonight they're a band because you know know, i'm like wolfman jack all of a sudden i'm like it's the midnight hour with bob merrick (laughs) (laughs) like i don't know what they were thinking they're a band you know they want to they're a band they want to get it going yeah well good thing they text you and they didn't come no i know or else we'd be sitting here back i don't know they're still not in the green room (laughs) i don't know at least now at least now we know we have nothing to talk about for two hours well no (laughs) now you have someone who's gonna talk for two hours exactly i'm really disappointed i told you to get jordan some coffee and you got her some Wait, Berry juice drink. I'm telling you, wait till that <laughs> clock strikes 920. We could just take our headphones off and leave and just let her go. Give her like three subjects and just let her go. Y'all would want me on coffee today, though. I get the shakes and I didn't eat today, so I had to get a juice instead. Why didn't you eat? Because I woke up kind of late and uh, I slept so good last night. And I hadn't really been sleeping that great. And I think it was because last night we did yoga. Uh-huh. And exercised and you know like after you exercise you're just so tired. Yeah. And I took a really hot bath. I always take baths. And um and I was out. So. It was a good workout. It was. How what, what's so what's the latest on the fan situation? <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, the fan. Yeah, we're I, we're uh, all concerned about fan death, but I noticed your sinuses are sounding better. Yeah, I actually feel I it's so weird, man. Yoga, it's like I wasn't feeling that great even this week and then uh-huh. uh I did yoga yesterday. Like, we worked out on Tuesday. Felt a little better, but just, like, sluggish. He I'm wasn't feeling, feeling good yesterday. And yeah, I told so him, I go, why don't you go do yoga? <clears throat> that might make you feel better. And I was going to go run a few errands, and then I felt bad because he wasn't going to go so by So much himself. for 920, 908. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, finish my story. So, I told him, I said... <laughs> <laughs> I will uh, I felt bad because he wouldn't go by himself and I, and I didn't think Alex was going with him that's normally his yoga buddy so um, uh, anyways that's who we should have had on the show today yeah, no, it was it, if we had if we had had more time that that would have been our next replacement. Believe me. And Jordan drifts down this path. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so, so I did yoga, yoga. <laughs> and, if, and uh, I felt real good. It felt like it knocked it out of me, and then I was like all full of energy. And last night I'm like, do whatever you want, go shopping, and I was just having a tea while she was doing her thing. And he promenade. was actually, I would go in the shops, and he was actually sitting down, and like being so patient and calm. I was like, I love this. I was like, you can go do whatever, you know, like just so I could take my time. He's like, oh, no, it's fine. And he just got a seat and was, I was like, this never happens. Because I feel like I never had this happens. like little bug with me all week. I don't yeah. know what it was. And I felt like it oh, finally got out. And uh, but and then this morning I woke up. I was all good. I even put the fan. Well, now getting back to the fan. That's, yeah, that was, my, it was all about the fan. Yeah, so I put it on. Last night I couldn't sleep, really. I was trying to catch up with Game of Thrones. Again, I had some download problems <laughs> so i only watch i'm up to six now so i was trying to get it back and blah, blah, blah. i was tossing and turning the whole season. i was falling asleep and then i finally got into it then i tried to get some more and blah 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 i didn't get it so i turned the fan on but i don't mind the fan on just not in my face so i turned it like to circulate the air in the room like you're supposed to do uh-huh. instead of having it fan death in my face <laughs> but we switched places this morning because normally i'm the one that's up real early and all like hey and like ready to talk and everything and he's just like grumpy kind of and he doesn't <laughs> talk sure. and um and then this morning it was me i was him and we're in the car and he's just talking i was like you're talking a lot this morning he's he like now good, you know how got a good I night's sleep and i feel like that bugs are out of me you know yeah. so i felt good and i had that burrito this morning you know <laughs> and he's like now you know how kitchen. i feel in the mornings yeah like, you want to talk about a relationship how's things going well i just have a <laughs> I'm sure you, Jordan. Where do you see our relationship going? Yeah, where do we go? What are we doing? <laughs> you love me still. <laughs> He's like, I can't take it. You're 
driving me crazy. <laughs> I was driving him crazy yesterday. <laughs> Dude, these little hissy fits, like these little attacks of like, you know, stomping her feet. Sometimes I mean it's a relationship. What are you going to do? Anyways, what did you but do last it, night? But Bob? isn't it funny? But isn't it funny, Jeff? It seems to me the common denominator is you. For because sure. Because when Jordan's not here, it's you and I that are constantly going at it. <laughs> I know. And then when Jordan's here, everything's fine between us because you're busy going at it with her. So. But don't you and your boyfriend like? Are we talking uh, about my boyfriend, or are we talking about my relationship with Jeff? Because Jeff and I bicker non-stop when this microphone turns on. I don't on. care who you are, you're going to bicker with him. Uh-huh. I don't care who it said, is. Me and yeah. him, when it, you're not here, me and him, we're constantly bickering. When he's with you, y'all are bickering. When he's with Megan, my best friend, or my brother, he's bickering uh-huh. with anybody. It's yeah. Jeff. Uh-huh. I don't know. <laughs> Mark, but we love him. Where's Marcus? But we love him. <laughs> yes, exactly. I have an inner demon. <laughs> Today would have been a good day with, for Marcus. We could have just sat here and got group therapy oh my with God. Marcus. <laughs> Except for Marcus would have said... His head would blow up. No, he would say, oh, Jordan, I just love you. Oh, Jordan can do no wrong. You know what, Jeff? I just don't think you're being nice enough to Jordan. <laughs> See, I think that's a, that's a common denominator. Everyone thinks you guys are so sweet. And I'll, give you to, I'll, give, I'll shoot it straight, brothers and sisters. They're not. We Jordan, are sweet. Jordan and I are totally sweet. Yeah, totally perfect. <laughs> uh, 100% in every way. He gets mad because his mom will always stick up for me. <laughs> And he's like, my mom, Evdo Planet. <laughs> and he's like, oh, she's not. That's what do you say to your mom sometimes when you get mad? Oh, she's not all sweet. <laughs> I say it's he, like everybody. Gets, he gets the wrath of me. I mean, I am a moody person and I can be. But see, that's and that's a, to be totally fair. That is exactly the same. I'm Jeff in my relationship and I have that same exact problem because my boyfriend is he's just like Jordan. So sweet to everybody. Oh, so nice. Everybody loves him. He just seems like he's just golly gee like he just seems so sweet and so nice i do too and it's not <laughs> no the, trust me you're me, you're me See, in this situation know, but because of the fact that nobody realizes because they're not with him as much you know what i mean like if you're only with my boyfriend for you know a few hours or at a party or something and it's not to say that he's not genuinely that genuinely this way just like you are but look every single one of us even i'm i get cranky we all know i get cranky um you know, but like my boyfriend has a darkness, and I think people like would be so shocked, especially like he's got terrible road rage. Something happened last night. I don't even remember what yeah, it was. Get in, get in your night a little bit. No, but it, it was. I, I think it was. We we went to get your stories in while you can. Man. <laughs> <laughs> no, I will. I'm, I'm trying to remember what it was that happened, but it was something. Oh, I re- this. This is a perfect example. So we were let, let, so yesterday afternoon we uh, Lance Bass was doing his radio show at Rock and Riley's on the Sunset Strip. So they did a big thing, which we got to get to. We got to get to this level. That's all I can tell you. Like Rock and Riley's was basically it's a it's a bar on Sunset. They were essentially closed down. He had two different bands come in. So he had one band for the first hour, and then he had a second band. He had the Veronicas in the second hour. Um, but you know, it was just like you know, like they had like six microphones. Shannon Elizabeth was co-hosting. Everyone was just sort of there, drinking and eating, having a good time while they hosted the show. It was awesome. We would also need like you know, serious production budget. budget. Um, but that being said, so we're all there, and you know, my boyfriend's sitting next to me, and uh, it's, it's it's Sunset Boulevard, you know, and that there's a car or a motorcycle or something that drove by that literally like vibrated the building, like it was so loud. He got so angry, so because he gets really angry with loud noises, and he was just so angry at this motorcycle or whoever it was. He's like, "I would kill that person if I if that person lived in my neighborhood." But he gets he gets he truly, it's not just like a funny comment. Like he's not just like, "God, that guy's an idiot." It's not like that. He literally gets like, "Oh, I would just kill that guy." Like he, I can't he gets picture so, that. I know, and that's the problem. And this is the problem Jeff has. Only I see it because that's part of being in love, and part of part of being in love with somebody is being able to let your guard down. You know, you let your guard down to where you show all parts of yourself. You know, you, it's it's <laughs> it's why you're sort of able to ha- you know fart in front in front of your partner or whatever. Like it's you rip them in front of your partner. Yeah, N- we try not to intentionally. If if it does, it's absolutely an accident. Really? <laughs> yeah. Like one just sneaks out and you're like, oops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, there's more to it than oops, but essentially, yeah. Like it's a whoa. It's a or, 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 no, er, no, every everything is like blame the dog. But <laughs> Gus, really. <laughs> Uh, for the most, well, just because I think it's, I, th- I come from the school of, um, you do it. 
No, it's not that I don't do it, but I, it's it's something I there was a <laughs> you don't do it. No, I mean you just don't do it. It's like I've never heard my grandma fart ever, ever, or but, my. Aunt. But I think, but I because, and it's not because I don't we, look. We all know that we do it, but there's the same reason that you don't do it in front of yeah. everybody. And I think, and then actually, it's 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 the it's the reverse side of what I'm talking about. So what I'm so what I'm saying is when we get around our partners, we sort of like really let our whole self go. And, you know, and which is which is a positive on one hand, because that means I really love you and I feel comfortable being around you. But then there's the reverse of that, which is that when we become that way, when we become too comfortable with the person, we stop taking care of ourselves. You know, I mean, like when, when you think about it, when you first there was a great article, I wish I knew, knew where I could even find it to reference it. But it was a great article that this guy wrote how he w- how he would have redone his first marriage because he because he saw in hindsight why their marriage dissolved and when you think about when you very first start dating Mm -hmm. when you go on a date especially like it's the woman always does her makeup always puts so much care into what she's going to wear on the date her hair her makeup every shaving the legs everything by the way so does the guy the guy goes out of his way to make sure he doesn't fart he makes sure he (laughs) you know he makes sure that his underwear is clean like all of those things that you know i mean like because it's the it's the first date and and that's and dating (laughs) underwear (laughs) i was trying to be funny out of my way (laughs) but you know but so the idea though is that you're trying because you're putting your best foot forward now that's not to say that's not who you are but you're putting some care into the into it and that becomes the relationship and then what happens all of a sudden okay now that we're married you know the wife never you know she Go walks around shit your pants. She, yeah she walks around and yeah she Who walks cares about those undies now <laughs> if they're dirty yeah but she walks around but she walks around in sweatpants she never wears makeup you know what i mean yeah the guy all of a sudden is letting it rip everywhere and it's like <laughs> and it's and it doesn't it's not it it's, i know but it's not that it's not okay it's you know and you two are totally different about it because it actually makes you like quite honestly like it's cute because it actually makes you two laugh oh yeah but if but a if, good time fart is like, <laughs> <laughs> but if it grossed the other one out then you're kind of grossing out your partner yeah like you, when, you know, you know like what I mean? around, like when i'm around their brother i want to punch him in his face <laughs> it, it stinks so bad is my mic sound all right yeah. It sounds like it's like a, I'm blowing up a little bit. But anyways, yeah, it smells so bad. It's like I, we were going to the airport last time I was I wanted to I wanted to jerk the car and like to the into the side of the road. Cause it's something weird. Or you turned it down. I just turned it down. Sorry. Because he, he smelled so bad. Dude, it smelled so bad. <laughs> so bad. I was telling Jeff when, when uh, I was a kid. My dad, he his were terrible, and we go on road trips, long road trips, and he would let one, and he wouldn't say anything, and then we'd all smell it and put it on child lock, so we, <laughs> so we couldn't roll down the window, and we'd all be like, oh, like dying. Oh, but like my family, it's I think hilarious. I laugh about it because my parents ripped them in front of each other, and we just left. Well, well and like I said, and like I said, like, but because every relationship is different. But right. I th- but I think it's kind of like the same reason like I I don't ever want to see my boyfriend go to the bathroom, but and I don't ever want him to see me to go to the bathroom because by the way, that's now you're just kind of dealing with like your sexual organs. I'm just gonna say it. You know what I mean? Like right. when I'm wanting to do other things with those organs, I don't want to see the other things that they do. Right. It's you just. Weird. I mean, I think. It, I mean, we. Do. Just, I don't I mean, care. I'm just using it as you an example. That you know what I mean? Like it's. Every, every person, it's how, every, every, it's person whatever, is every person yeah. is different. Yeah, it's how you every. handle it. And so is every relationship. It doesn't mean every relationship is going to be like that. But I mean, we are we are too comfortable. It's not. Yeah, but if, but like I said, it, it can be a it can be a positive and a negative. It's just a matter. But you guys are the thing that you guys are also both really good about doing. You guys still totally. You know, if if you guys get invited even just to a restaurant for dinner, you'll like Jeff. You'll put on a button up shirt and it's pressed and you look great. And Jordan goes out of her way like she dolls herself up. You know what I mean? Like I think that's sort of that's that that's really sort of more what I'm talking about. It's making sure that you're still showing up and oh, and, put, yeah. and putting care and attention into the relationship. It, this isn't just about farting. To, to me, one of my things just happens to be farting, just because I think it's just one of those things. Look, we all do it. It's not that you know, but we get out of. <laughs> Ten minute bender about farting. No shock there. Yeah, but but you know, I, mean, I just think that it's important that when you're in a relationship, that you remember to put your best foot forward because otherwise, that's that always ends up being the demise of relationships. Is all of a sudden six or seven years into it, and you realize, well, I don't really care about that person anymore because they stop putting care into the relationship. That's true. Yeah, yeah. I don't think we're like that. I, we put I on throwdowns to go out. Like when people when they get older and they're having kids and stuff, it's harder because. 
your life revolves around your kids and so you're constantly maybe your husband's going to work or maybe you're getting ready for work and then you're trying to get your kids to school and then by the time you're done with work and you get the kids home and homework and dinner and all that exactly. it's hard and but then you still you have to i think what he's saying is you still got to make time yeah, like, yeah, don't that's, just that's, let yourself go don't yeah. show up in sweatpants everywhere still look good no, for your partner but what i was going to say is like i think when you're married and all that stuff like this is just how i would do it if it was me like comparing myself maybe like um a couple like a n- night a week you have like a babysitter and you do like a date night mm-hmm. with your husband um and then on the weekends then you do like a family thing together but which still- is you, you, which is and that's but that's exactly that's that's exactly the point of what i'm saying you right. you kind of need to do that i think people forget that they and they and they stop doing that. They sort of take it. They take for granted the fact that okay, well now that we have this paper that says that we're married, I no longer you're you're not going anywhere, right? So I don't have to look good, yeah, or yeah, or we don't need to we don't need to make time to go on a date because we're just here and we're busy with other things. And it's like to have a successful relationship, you have to remember to constantly keep putting in the effort and your and your best foot forward. My mom has always told me that with men, uh, she's like. You got to keep up with yourself and make yourself look good because she's like, there's always another woman, there's always a younger woman, there's always somebody else. You well, have that's to- a d- that's a difficult thing because then you're then you're then you're living in a place of insecurity. Like you don't sure. you don't you don't, you don't want to be going that, but but you do want to take. I'm that. saying like I, walking. I agree. Working out. I agree with the I agree with the part that you should be taking care of yourself because if you're taking care of yourself you're taking care of your partner you're taking care of the relationship you know right. what i mean like if you let yourself go and you're not happy if you're not happy with yourself all of a sudden that's going to start to show up in the relationship for right. sure you know what i mean so so that's that but i wouldn't i wouldn't ever be you're in trouble if you're in a relationship thinking to yourself i have to look good or else he might start looking at other women we all there's not one you're anybody Everybody every looks. single person that says that they don't look at somebody else is a liar, liar. an absolute liar it, we are programmed to look, you know, I mean, if a hot girl, look, I notice a hot girl if a hot girl walks by. I obviously, I really notice when a hot guy walks by. We all notice when when somebody very attractive walks by. We're we're human beings. We just got a verbal lashing for an hour for that the other day. But but there's but here's the thing: there's nothing wrong with looking, and there's nothing wrong even even with commenting. You know what I mean? Like that was a thing. Even with my boyfriend and I, we had to sort of like really sort of learn that balance. Like I can't sit there and all of a sudden have like drool coming down the side of my mouth. You know, when I see a hot guy walk by, but I should be allowed to be like, "Wow, he's really cute," because that's healthy. It's healthy because now it's on the table, as opposed to. Don't point fingers, because when you know when you're where point, were you two nights when ago, you're Bob? pointing one finger, there's three pointing back at you, Jay. Hey, who says that? You do. So, <laughs> no, but it's but as long as it's just looking and it's just talking, right. because here's the thing: just because he's not saying it, and just because you're not saying it, doesn't mean you're not thinking it. So, wouldn't you rather know what the thoughts are? You know, they're sort of more on the table as opposed to yeah, you have to communicate. Like if you keep it balled in and like what you're thinking and you don't say anything, I think that's like a balled in. That's what I always say. Uh, <laughs> keep it all like inside, and then uh, and then you don't say anything. It's going to eat you alive, and then you're just going to get. And, and that's when you're more likely to go have an affair. Yeah. Because then all of a sudden you're like you didn't you never allowed to talk about it. you're like well you know now with your kid in candy store you uh, you have I think that and you could probably say this because you've been in a long relationship too that you have to communicate and you have to be open with each other you cannot be jealous or trust issues like you can you yeah. can if someone is jealous and you can't communicate your relationship is well to, this is my opinion yeah. your relationship will fail. Yeah, I I, I, I I completely agree. I agree too. <laughs> <laughs> when did we become Doctor Phil over here? The morning hour. Oh, <laughs> uh, because there's not that. Did somebody fart? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> no, I don't. No, know. No, that's totally true. Totally true. Because our relationship works because of trust. You know. Yeah. And I think that's the main. Well, thing. and it has to. And I think there's also an interesting dynamic between the two of you because you've spent so much time apart. You know, and, and and because of all of the time. So, of how many years now? Is it four or five years? Four, no, almost four years in September. Yeah. So, yeah. so, so of those four years, this is the this last year has been the first year that you've actually lived together, and and so sort of your relationship is sort of still talking about what I'm talking about. 
is that you still... Did I just say is what you're talking about is what I'm talking about? <laughs> uh, <laughs> is that it, you're, you're always putting your best foot forward because you're showing up to make a conscious choice to say, I choose to be in this relationship. There's you, You're not saying... We have to be in this relationship because, again, that's sort of what happens once you get married. Once that marriage certificate is signed, it's like, well, we have to be married. So it doesn't matter what I do. It doesn't matter if I let myself go. It doesn't matter. But when you're still and, and marriage and any relationship should always be a choice from the day you start dating until the day you get married and one of you dies. You know what I mean? Like right. it's, it, it, well, it's that, hard. It's relationships are work. You know what I mean? They're, it's hard. It's no one says it's easy. Work. No one says everyone has a perfect relationship. You know, it, it's hard. People are going to look. That's a, it, that's life. You know what I mean? That's exactly. how it goes. That's you life. don't need to you, talk about it, confront each other. You know, don't go straying. But I mean, it's, it's a, it's a work. It's work. You know, I'm a pain in the ass. She's a pain in the ass. I'm sorry to tell everybody out there. She's a huge pain in the ass. You know what I mean? That's the way relationships are. It just it sucks sometimes, but you know, you got to But like with him, I think what works like with the long distance when he goes out with his friends or if I go out with my friends, he's like, "Okay, have fun. You know, just call me whenever or he'll call me sometimes uh when I'm out with my yeah, friends and just trust. be like, "Hey, what's going yeah. on?" And with him, all I ask, like I don't bother him, like I'll text him and be like, I'm going to bed. And all I ask is a phone call, or not a phone call, a phone call or a text when he gets home. That's all I ask. Yeah. And then I don't bother him while he's out. And then if he doesn't, though, then he'll, he gets he gets it from me. Hmm, that's so funny. I had that same fight. But I never last, do. This last Saturday morning. I always, I always do. Only one time because he, um, he was fishing all day. And he had fun, so. Uh, <laughs> but I didn't know some. Of, I didn't know the people that were friends See, with Jordan, now. Jordan so says mad. it, and it's adorable. I know. I say it, and I'm like throwing stones about <laughs> you having. Because he says it five <laughs> times. She's not going to say it five more times. But anyways, uh, what were you saying? You got into an argument. No, I had the same. That was. I'm. I obviously I can't air it out, but that right. was the same thing. It was. It was. He had gone off to an event. And was spending the night, and which I was totally fine with. But then there was no. I woke up, and I had gone to bed, and I woke up, and there was no text and message, you feel no phone getting... call, nothing. Yeah, and I went, <laughs> and I went into a rage because I'm like, that's unacceptable to me. Mm -hmm. That is unacceptable to me to not have a text message saying, "What were you doing?" I'm that home. Was... Yeah, I'm home Being safe. A little Everything is. Yeah, exactly. Your brain goes. Your brain. Well, and that's the worst part is your brain also goes to all of the worst places. You know what I mean? Like it's, and, and it's over something so simple that if I had woken up and there had been a text saying, just want to let you know, I'm home safe. Uh, love you. That's it. I don't, I would have woken up. I might not have even responded the morning. I'd have been like, Oh, everything's fine. And gone on about my day. And instead I will just say it ruined Saturday. Yep. Saturday was ruined until about 6 PM. So because of that situation, Something so simple as a text, but yeah, it, it is. It's about it's about communication. Because again, once you once you've been in it for too long, you start to take things for granted. Mm -hmm. So it's just it's always remembering to put your best foot forward, right. whether that's you know how you groom yourself or you know going to the bathroom in front of each other, whatever it is. <laughs> you know, I mean, remembering to text, remembering to say I love you, all of those things. What whatever those things that you're that. That your relationship was originally built on, it's keeping up with those. That's true. I would say that too. Yeah. You have to keep up with those things. Yeah, because it's different. <clears throat> um, well, what a fun first half hour wow. we've had here on <laughs> the Bob Show. That was a snoozer. <laughs> I didn't think so. I liked it. You two I loved it. Too. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Jeff. What sorry. do you want to talk about? Sports? <laughs> you want to go play? Brian Urlacher retired. You want to go play on your island? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I didn't check it this morning. At the break, it's island time. Uh, well, what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and we're going to take a quick little break because it's time. And then uh, we're going to come back. I have a little game to play with you, too. So that'll be fun. Is it he naughty? Loves games. It's not naughty. It could be. It could get naughty knowing you two. Uh, <laughs> but we'll take a quick break and then we'll come back. And, uh, and we're going to fire this thing up. We're going to blow it up. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I tell ya, I went down like a bag of shit. Succumbed to the fever yet again. That's Ross River fever, Bob. Over here we have to be vigilant with the big hexam greys, mozzies, mosquitoes. Once you have the virus, it visits annually for about all oh, seven years thereabouts, and to some degree, less painful each year. 
swollen joints, lethargic, flu-like symptoms. Nothing you can do. You're up shit creek without a paddle. Helpless. This is my fifth year and I, I don't take sickies, day off work, ever. But I had to call in Karen, Darren's stepsister from his mum's second marriage, who is married to Daz's brother Phil, to cover the baking of the scones, biscuits for me. My hands just couldn't knead the dough. Jeff, all I can say, mate, is dose yourself in Eregard at dusk and dawn and top up in between because you don't want to catch the fever. Anywho, you want to save your ass down under to tell your stories back home. Brown-eyed mullet, a turd in the sea where you are swimming. Chewy chewing gum, dunny budgie, blowfly, not the full quid, low IQ. But for a little history, quid is slang for a pound. One pound became two dollars when Australia converted to decimal currency. Well, I'm off to soak in the boiler. Jacuzzi. See you, da. So, I, <laughs> we went the wrong direction there. I totally forgot that that was pre-programmed in there. It's Thursday, which means that it's meanwhile down under. Uh, and so, Jordan, because I can tell you don't listen every Thursday, uh, that's our friend Shaza from Australia who is anticipating your arrival in Australia. And so she calls in every week with tips uh, for Jeff slang words. Uh, that one was obviously about the importance of a certain spray that you're going to spray on yourself. For mosquitoes. For mosquitoes so that and you I don't got, get the fever. And I got sickies. 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 Yeah. Sickies in a boiler. Yeah. Jacuzzi. <laughs> she teaches, so she always calls in and teaches words. I like and, your voice. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Well, you'll get it. You'll it's get Australian. Some, you'll get, you'll get it's to meet her. It's for our trip to Australia. Yeah, you'll get yes, to meet her when you go to Australia. <laughs> Uh-oh. He reminds me all the time about Australia. Because, I mean, I'm like, aren't you pumped? She's like, yes, but I have school. I'm like, what do you mean? You got to take off to Australia. I'm like, I'm going. And then I go, I'm going with or without you. She's I will like, go with him. And then she gets like all sad about it. She's like, well, good. Why don't you take one of your friends then? And I'm like, I can't. The ticket's for you. I'm going by myself. I'm like, I'm going with you. First of all, you're taking off. I'm going with you. So don't start a fight and get all mad. Here we go. I will take your ticket. I know where it is, Jordan. I will come and get it. Bob show live from down under. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that would be fun. Jordan, you're going to Australia. Exactly. I know. Stop <laughs> saying that. <laughs> we're, we're taking a break. And now a word from our sponsor. Drivers, think before you drink and get behind the wheel. Arrive alive, never drink and drive. This message from Whelan's Contracting Company of Yorktown Heights, New York. Serving the area with pride for over 23 years. Our area's general contractor for new construction and additions, kitchens, baths, basements, even roofing, siding, and windows. Call today at 914-879-8069. That's 914-879-8069. Whelan's Contracting Company of Yorktown Heights is wishing everyone the best throughout the seasons ahead. And it describes her horrifying experience when she first realized the complex was on fire. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that.
Drivers, celebrate responsibly this season. Always pass the keys to a safe and sober driver. This message, a courtesy of Wayne's Landscaping, serving Sears Sport, Maine with pride. The area's premier landscaping contractor, whether commercial or residential, from new construction and design to weekly mowing and fertilizing. Call Wayne's Landscaping today, 207-548-0272. That's 027-548-0272. That's Wayne's Landscaping of Sears Sport, Maine, on the air, wishing everyone the best throughout the seasons ahead. Positive. Thought provoking. All right. Silly. Uncontrollable. Fun. Bizarre. Entertaining. You are listening to The Bob Show, exclusively on UBNRadio.com. And now, here is your host, Bob Nerd. Good morning and welcome back, everyone. It is uh, Thursday morning, day before our, or it is our, it's the 23rd. The start of our weekend. The mo- big weekend, Memorial Day. Is it this weekend? Yeah. Hot damn. Hot diggity dog, you mean. What are you Is doing? Is it really? Yes. Oh my God, that means we don't have a show till Tuesday. Right. Oh, thank Lord Jesus, thank you for the fire. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is, I need that. I really need some well, here time. It is. Hot- <laughs> here it is. Oh, that is the greatest gift you just gave me, Jeff. Uh, if you're just joining us, I'm sitting here with uh, Jeff Schroeder and Jordan Lloyd. Uh, notoriously known for a little TV show called Big Brother. Are you guys excited for the return? We're an amazing race, too. Oh, yeah, that. And we had our own show, Jeff and Jordan to America. And you went around the world for free. Not together. <laughs> let's, not, let's not get crazy, Bob. <laughs> Actually, she did meet me in, in Italy. Mm-hmm. And, and then are you going to do something like, you know, VH1's like Rock of Love or something? Heck no. <laughs> for sure. No way. You, you, the love you draw the line. So are you guys excited that... Um, are you guys excited about Big Brother coming back, or do you even care? Yeah, I like Big Brother. You know what it is? It's uh, you have to see the cast. It's like anything. Once you see the cast and get into the characters, it's like I just started watching Survivor, and I don't know all these old people—not old people, but I don't know all these past people. Uh-huh. But, uh huh. But so everyone, I don't know, people like people everyone coming was back. New to you. Yeah, everyone was new to me. So it's like just like anything. Once you start seeing the characters, you're like, oh, I love that person. I hate that person. Which you know, everyone goes through the same emotions, and then uh. And then you get into it. So I'm excited to see the new cast and what it brings and what the twists are. So there's a lot that goes into Big Brother. And once you start getting committed to it, you know, you really become a fan. And I was never a fan until I think two years ago I started watching. But you guys don't you guys don't watch like the live feeds and stuff, do you? No. No, no. no. We watched one time. I it's like people sitting there eating a bowl of cereal. I'm like, what am I watching? I'm like, yeah. I gotta get off this. Yeah, we watched ten minutes and I was like, I can't. I See, I like this. the live feeds for like the first like month, maybe, but then after that, yeah, it's then if it becomes there's, too like, much. Drama but I like going yeah, on. I like to have it sort of like I used to have. I love to have it like on like in the background, like when I would be doing something and I would have it on so I could just like listen. It's so crazy! I was watching a well, whatever. I was watching a couple clips the other day, and then I was like just getting back in that mode, and I was like, oh my goodness, it's like it's would almost you like time. would you you won't go back in the house though, right? I don't know. I don't want to. I don't want to go back in the house, you know. I'm a uh, no. Would you go in without Jordan? Like, would that? Would there be any incentive? Because every time you've gone in, you've had to go in with Jordan. There's no way you could go in with her again because it's just total target. On your I back. just yeah. I don't. Do you I feel like would, the only, I feel like the only way I, I would be invited back is like for an all stars type of thing. You know, if I was lucky enough to get picked for that, which there's no guarantees even for that, and. uh and I feel like I would have a huge target on my back. I don't know why. I just we're we're not necessarily in that Big Brother click. You know what I mean? There, there's definitely a click out there that mm-hmm. all the house guests hang out and do a certain thing. And uh, it's not to say that I don't we don't like those house guests. It's just like we, I don't. We just do our own thing. You know, it's not it's not a bad thing. It's not we don't hate them or it's nothing. It's no animosity there. But I feel like because I'm not in that click or I don't stay in touch with some of those people that I'd be in the house with a lot of those people and i feel like they would already have a natural alliance you yeah, know they, they'd be forming secret alliances right and then you know and they would uh and it's real easy to get me out too you know what i mean i play with my emotion yeah i play with my heart so as soon as you fuck me i'll just say <laughs> it i'm coming after you you know what i mean so it's that's the way it goes down and it's not like i'm playing any tricks i'm not dr will or you know dan the mist man i'm not gonna pull a fake wedding i'm gonna come right in your face and give it to you you know <laughs> It was a fake funeral. <laughs> what did I say? Fake wedding. wedding. <laughs> I'm not going to have a fake wedding. <laughs> Maybe that was my secret move. Oh. You just ruined it. You just ruined it. You said it, not me. I don't know. Whatever. You know what I mean? I'm starting to get heated up a little bit. Um, well, um, I'm excited to let everybody know that I finally decided last night to give away 
Uh, I have a few copies of Keaton Simon's CD. Oh, yeah. That are autographed. Oh, yeah. And somehow I send out this tweet and Keaton retweeted it saying that, uh, you know, that I'm here's how to give away this. Here's how I'm giving away the CD. And uh, but then, of course, the, my next tweet was give me a list of things that Jeff and Jordan hate. The Twitter feed just exploded. All all people focused on was uh, about you two. And so uh, so it made it very easy because there were four people that responded to <laughs> really to actually there were there was a fifth person but I don't I only, I only had four, so I'm just going to give it to the first four people who responded people are um, silly for not calling in and getting that CD I listen to it mm -hmm. daily every day uh -huh. it is the best it is a good CD if he does not like get like on the well, charts like people did you, start but did you not see what's exciting the way he just did yesterday what he taped the Ellen DeGeneres show no he's going to be on Ellen DeGeneres he's singing Beautiful Pain on it's going to air on June 10th see you later Keaton yeah. <laughs> he's going to blow up you know that girl I mean that girl, like she's my girl. Ellen, Ellen you know that girl. <laughs> we live next door to her, so she's my girl. Ever since she took you to Australia, she's yeah, your girl. I know for real, <laughs> for real. But I mean, she blows people up. I mean, if there's one place you want to play for her, uh -huh. oh man, he's gonna be it's an overnight star. He's know, already I, a star. I feel like I've got to like invite him back on the show. Before yeah, you got to book it now because like, he is a, he's a, he's already a star. I mean, it's just a matter of time. Yeah, at this point, he's phenomenal. Well, I'm excited. Here are the four winners. Of the uh, Keaton Simons CD, it is autographed. Uh, on these are all Twitter handles. Uh, the first one is McCoy seventeen. Congratulations, Casey K sixty eight, Tracy Bill, and Sue Bruce fifty seven. <laughs> you guys are all. Uh, do me a favor and email me thebobshow at gmail dot com and send me your address. And I am going to make sure that you guys get your copy of Keaton Simmons. Keaton Simons. I can't believe I did it again. Keaton Simons brand new CD. And hang which on is to that so autograph. Awesome. Yeah, it's an autographed CD. It's going to be worth something. Yeah. Come, Especially come, after the Ellen Show. Good for him. Come, I'm going to tweet come him. Come Congrats June 11th. On the yeah. Ellen Show. That's June. good. I'm so proud of it. Yeah. Come, I'm proud of him. Like, what am I talking about? <laughs> <laughs> you're allowed to be proud you of him. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, you're allowed to be proud of him. What's wrong with being proud of him? Uh, well, proud of him means like you know we we went through the hard times together, you know. But well, it's like no, I'm but just you, I'm no, happy but for you can be proud. I'm happy you for can him. be proud. You know what you missed yesterday, and I I, I, I queued this up for you. So, uh, I, Jake Simpson, you might remember. Did you, did you ever used to watch Oprah? Yes. It was an episode of Oprah, and it's been like replayed a hundred times. And Oprah says it's her one of her all time favorite moments. Uh, but it was the guy who was up st on stage singing. He was singing a Stevie Wonder song, and then all of a sudden, behind him, Stevie Wonder pops out from behind the stage and starts playing harmonica. I hadn't seen that. Before. Well, it was it was him. That was who was in the studio yesterday, and I knew that he was good, but I didn't know he was this good. So I this I just pulled this so you can hear it for for a second. Get my snappers out. Should have brought my tambourine. Well, I, I'm so in love with you. Whatever you want to do is all right with me. Because you make me feel so brand new Yes you do baby. And I want to spend my life with you So let me say the sense Nice passing court man mm. Since we've been together Oh all oh, love and you forever is what I need Let me be the one you come running to yeah. And I'll never be all untrue I said let's That's too good it's just that's good. real good. It's real good. It's too good. I want to be a singer. Me too. I mean, he was he was phenomenal. I didn't. I I just was shocked. I, I was so bummed that I was that here. you weren't here. I know. I love that. That's my favorite. I know. He did three songs, and all three of them were just awesome. 
Oh, it, it was man. really good. That was Jake. So that was Jake Simpson. Yes, I'm like now. I'm like Jake Simon. Simpson. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jake Simpson. 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 Um, what do you think yeah. about right now? Nothing. I'm listening. Wow. <laughs> you weren't thinking about Jessica Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're ridic- you're ridiculous. Donk. Um, okay, so let's, uh, I'm trying to think of the easiest way to do this. I think we'll just go ahead and play it. There was, uh, you don't watch The Office, do you? Mm-hmm. You didn't watch the series finale. I've been wanting to talk about that all week, but nobody wants to talk about it with me. So, but that's okay. Didn't, wasn't that guy on? Did you have him on already? Yeah, he was on the day before. His name was Brian Baumgartner. He played. That's right. Kevin on The Office. Yeah, I mean, I watch it sporadically. I'm not like a diehard. I hope not sporadically. What? Clueless. Uh, they, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you too. Oh, I, I so wanted a button for that. I only, I only have the buzzer. That would have been so. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I really wanted that. I just, you know what I just. That was re- so worth the ten know, seconds of looking for it. You know what I just realized listening to that. What? That I use that as like the when you're correct when we when we play a game, but if you listen to it, it just sounds like a like an egg timer going off. It doesn't sound like dinner's ready. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly those the, old time. That's the, the bell the twist ones. Yep, that's exactly what that bell is. You know what happened? The mood in here kind of went down because you closed those shades. I know. Do you feel it? I totally do. I say this every single time. And I'm like, dude, what's up? I'm like, are we done was, yet? No, it was put be- those things back on. Let's was, get going. It, we got a four day weekend. It was because people we were getting washed out in the camera. That's what I was trying to play with the camera for. But um, it's it, a radio it, it, show. It was, well, so um, and we're gonna go ahead. It's okay and, if you're washed out. We're gonna go ahead and play a game right now, anyway. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm elevating the, the energy in the room. <laughs> uh, so this is one of my favorite games that we've been playing with guests, and I don't. We haven't played this with you two, and uh, I've even made a few that are specific for you guys, which is exactly why I was asking people in the chat room last night. But it's a little game we call we play called Would You Rather. So, would you rather you have to you obviously you have to choose one of the two things. So it's you can't say neither. You have to say one or the other. So, uh let's start with number 1 and this is for both of you. Uh would you rather wake up naked and sore and without any memory of the night before next to the Burger King telling you you had it your way? The Burger or, King man? Yeah, the the, the king. king. Yeah. Yeah. So, would you rather wake up with the Burger King telling you you had it your way? Or wake up next to Ronald McDonald telling you you were loving it. Oh man, what's up? Why? Uh, <laughs> that's a racist. That's a biased question. Not racist. Why is it biased? It's two dudes. So that's the that's the, that's Mc- the least of your worries. <laughs> I'd say McDonald's guy. You'd rather have that? I think the Ronald McDonald clown has gotten so creepy. But no, that, but I think right. the king, but the is, king creepy. is kind of creepy too. The, that's why the they're face? both creepy. Yeah, yeah. I think I'd have to take Ronald McDonald, even though he's got such big feet. <laughs> Clown feet. Dude, I, t- I tweeted out something about there was a rock in my shoe yesterday. It was so stupid because while she was shopping, I just tweeted out, and every I'm like, there was a rock in my shoe. I said something <laughs> like stupid, and every person on Twitter is like, "Remember Clown shoe?" Like 800 people. I was like, "Yeah, I remember. I got it." <laughs> yeah. Oh, I remember. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> every morning when I every, wake every up, every time I, I pay my rent, yeah. I got it. <laughs> my little one bedroom apartment. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, uh, <laughs> so what do we come up with? You said Ronald McDonald too. Mm-hmm. So you're both Ronald McDonald. Yeah. Um, would you rather lose your virginity to another virgin or a slutty person that knows what they're doing? Um, probably, <laughs> probably another virgin, because you don't know what's going on. But wouldn't that make it bad? Yeah, but you, it's a learning curve. You know what I mean? Everything you got to learn in life. <laughs> what about Can't you, just be, jump to the top of the mountain. To a slutty person who knows what it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't want to waste my time. Bring on the slut. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be a miserable genius or a happy moron? I definitely Happy I, moron. Yeah, I think happy is the way to go. I think that's us. Some, <laughs> well, sometimes I feel like, you know, I'm like, I just wish, I mean... Yeah, I'm just going to go happy. <laughs> Would you rather find true love or $10 million? True love. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> I think I found mine, but I could use the dough. <laughs> <laughs> um, would you rather have an excellent relationship but terrible sex or have an awful relationship with incredible sex? Oh, man. Uh... 
<coughs> to be honest, I think you got to go with the relationship. Yeah, because... What, what does that mean? You'd rather have an excellent relationship and terrible sex? Yeah. Practice. Because think, think of the time... Practice, Practice makes perfect. <laughs> yeah, think of the time frame. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's all day. You got to be with this person as opposed to one hour. You're like, yeah, this is awesome. And then the 23, you're like, you make me sick. Yeah. Would you? He doesn't like any of my answers. <laughs> <laughs> that is not true. I what would you say? What on that one? Uh, probably the same. Relationship. You're a liar. No. I, no, I would rather sex. have. Yeah, because I've, I've been, I've been. I, I. We got it. There, I got there, it. <laughs> there was, there was, there was somebody who was honestly like some of the best sex I've ever had in my entire life, and he was such a nightmare and such an absolute and total asshole. And it was amazing. It was amazing what I put myself through just to try to have the good sex. And it, and it was he was so awful. He's one of the f- few people I ever punched in the face. Oh my gosh! <laughs> we were at a restaurant and he flicked me in the ear because he was he was so, he was everything about him was so irritating. But he was so um he's so phenomenal All in right, sex. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where did it go? Um, it was, it was a good one. I don't know where it went. Uh, I got one for you when we're done with this. Would you rather start your own successful company or a successful religion? Mm, Company. Um, successful. I'd probably go religion. You'd want to have your own religion. It sounds too culty for me. My own religion. Oh, yeah. It's it's starting. starting It's starting your own religion. Oh no! It's basically starting your own cult. Yeah. You company. You kind of did. What's start, up, David Koresh? You, you, you did kind freaking of, me out. No, you, she did kind of start her own religion. <laughs> she's like at the epicenter of the J. Joe. <laughs> yeah, she is. <laughs> the J. Joe cult. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Everyone's be wearing Nike <laughs> shoes and waiting for the comet to come <laughs> jump aboard. Would you rather always know when someone is lying or always get away with lying? No, when always someone know is when lying. someone's lying. Yeah, that's what, that's what, uh, me too. Um. <clears throat> Would you rather live with your parents forever or get married to a complete stranger that you can never divorce? Marry, uh, live with my parents forever. What do you mean? That's a weird, I mean, I, I love my parents, but what do you mean so, a complete stranger? So Isn't everyone you meet in the beginning a p- complete stranger? Well, Probably yeah, like yeah. off the road. Is that what they mean? Like no, randomly? No, as in, as in, as in so, you, so, the, so you only have one or two choices. You're either going to spend the rest of your life living with your parents Meaning you're not going to get to move out and go get married and all that stuff. So you have to live with your parents, or basically it's like an arranged marriage, and somebody's like, "This is this is your new wife." Oh, an arranged marriage, like yeah, that. yeah, oh. because, yeah, because it's you're you're getting married to a complete stranger that you can never divorce. And what if you hated them? Yeah, yeah. I'd probably live with my parents because then just come on over. My parents are cool. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, the sock was on the door. Mom, meatloaf. What the? <laughs> The sack was on the door. <laughs> that was a good one. Would you rather be able to talk to all animals or be able to speak all foreign languages? All foreign languages. Yeah, foreign languages. You'd rather be able to speak all foreign, like, all foreign languages as opposed to spe- as being able to talk to an animal? Yeah. What kind of conversation are you going to have with a squirrel? I don't know. But Jordan, you tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I but think about how awesome it would be, though. Just think about awesome it would be to go around the thought. world and like know everything. Like Gus, you yeah. know when you're talking to Gus, and yeah. you're like, oh, because you always do a different voice to your dog. Yeah, exactly. And want, don't you want to know? Don't you want him to be able to talk back to you? Do you ever wonder if they're thinking like in their head, like how we think? Like I always think always. this. Like when I'm talking to Maggie, I'm like, I wonder if she's like, get out of my face, <laughs> or like quit talking to me like that. Oh, you can tell. Sometimes they do. Sometimes, like I'll want to give Gus a kiss on, on his head, and he'll move his head away. Like he wants nothing to do with it. But then there's other times too. Like every time when I leave the house, that look that he gives me, I, I you know you want to be able to. I would love to be able to say to him, "It's okay, I'm gonna be back in like three hours." Like I want to be able to. I want to be able to go that distance with him in conversation. I have to share this story real quick. Please do. Okay, so <laughs> when I was leaving to come out here, Maggie, whenever See she sees a suitcase, she gets nervous. Yes. And she's like pacing around the house. She always follows me anyway. But I mean, she was like at my feet. Well, when I grabbed my luggage to go to the door, she jumped up, like, crawling, like, on my leg like a kid. I was like, Uh I almost started crying. And then I go, Maggie. I was like, I'll be back. And then I went to the door to go open it. She walked to the door and flopped on her back. Oh, my God. And I was like. I would have cried. 
I would have cried. And then my brother's like, do you want to take her to the airport? And I was like, no, because then when they've done that before and when they drive away, she's like looking out <laughs> the window like yeah. it's a person. Yeah, and then you're crying. I know. Yes, yeah. and so the whole time, like on the way to the airport, I felt so awful. My brother said she went upstairs for like two days. She was just under my bed and just stayed under there and moped. Yeah, what you need. So here's a this is a great piece of advice that I learned a long time ago that somebody that somebody told me. What you because dogs can't tell they they don't have a perception of time, right? So which is why you know you can take out the trash and they're just as excited when you come back in the house, yes, as they are if you went on a business trip for a week because they they don't have they can't tell the concept of time. But so, I don't believe that. But we talked about this before. But it's but but what they do understand though, like something like your suitcase, they know that means you're leaving. So. uh so I have a friend who found out about this and it, it helped a lot, especially with Gus. Um, so you, when you, so you bring like, like right now when you're not going on a trip, you go and you get your suitcase and you bring it in the house and you know, you, and you do your thing and then you take it outside and you, you can't just like go right outside cause I know you're right on the other side of the door, but you essentially go and like walk around the block with your suitcase and you come back and you do it a couple times because then it's because it's they need to it's it, they only associate the suitcase with leaving they don't associate it with coming home and so because you're doing it so quickly then they start to be like oh, okay she's gonna but if they have no gonna, concept of time what she's gonna be right that? back because because I just blew your theory out of the water no you didn't Jeff if they have no concept of time what's the difference if you leave for one year or around the block it doesn't matter right they have a concept of time as far as oh like, they do now. No, they have listen. a concept of time of fifteen minutes. One point, minutes. Jeff. Zero points. No, Bob. they have a concept of time about fifteen minutes. But, <laughs> oh, really? But they don't understand the difference between a week and a day. Yeah, you can tell. Get like, out of listen, here. listen, listen. Do you have a dog? No. Listen, get real. You they get have real. a. Con- they have no concept of time. Now it's fifteen minutes. No. After fifteen minutes is all. I forgotten. agree with uh, Bob. Of course like, you do. Maggie, like if I'm gone for work all day and I come back, she's excited. But, like, when I get back home and I haven't been home in two weeks, she starts running or circles around the couches and jumps up and is, like, real, real excited. Well, that's still eight hours as opposed to a week, so that would be all the same thing. But, I mean, I see what you're saying. Like, it's uh, – she. I think she knows a difference between being gone longer – then whatever I don't know where I'm talking. About. <laughs> I think that theory just got blown up. I'm gonna research it and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna find studies. And, and that's only if somebody. Go ahead. The, that's only if somebody Keep in the studying chat room while you're walking around the block that's with only your suitcase. If somebody <laughs> in the chat room doesn't. I need somebody in the chat room to back me up on this one. Hey, my neighbor just keeps walking around with his suitcase <laughs> every morning. What a weirdo! No, you don't have to do it. It's, it's because it's, my dog has a concept of 15 minute memory. Duh. <laughs> Let's get back to the question, shall we? Okay. This is why we bicker. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, Jeff's an idiot. Would you rather take fifty thousand dollars free? I'm an idiot. Would you rather take fifty thousand dollars free and clear, or a hundred and fifty thousand dollars illegally? Who am I taking it from? The government. Free and clear. That doesn't say. It just means that it just means you have one hundred fifty thousand dollars and it's illegal, and now you're going to spend the rest of your life sort of looking over your shoulder. Or fifty thousand dollars free and clear. Fifty thousand free and clear. Yeah, I'll take fifty dollars. Fifty thousand. Yeah, you with really no worries. Want that hundred and fifty. Yeah, I wish it was from the like cell phone company. That'd take it. Um, would you rather uh, be the smartest person or the hottest person? Mm. Probably smartest because Smart. looks fade. You know. Yeah, that's true. And you probably make more money with being smart. Yeah. Uh, would you rather listen to All My Exes Live in Texas by George Strait on a loop for 24 hours straight so you don't hear anything else or Gangnam Style on a loop for 24 All hours? All My Exes Live in Texas. Gangnam Style. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Both of them. I, I, I think I'd probably go George Strait, too, but it would, it would be pretty hard. Um, okay, Jeff, here you go. This, so this, this one's for you, Jeff. Would you rather rub the foot of an overweight construction worker for one hour... Or, I didn't follow it up. Dead air. Yeah, that's totally dead air. Okay, I have to come, have to come back to that one. Uh, These are ridiculous questions. That's the whole point of it. It's, called, yeah. it's a game. It's called Would You Rather. Uh, Jeff, would you rather never get to use lotion for the rest of your Ooh, life? Ooh, never. I'll or, take... or never use chapstick for the rest of your oh life? Oh, my oh. God. No way. See? Lotion. Yeah, because I, I think I could put lotion on my lips. <laughs> you know, I can't put chapstick all over my body. <laughs> I'm already feeling dry just thinking about it. 
So you would so you I think would. I'd give up chapstick as bad as it would say because I think I could lubricate the lips with the lotion. So you, so you would go chapstick. Jordan, would you rather eat one pound of sauerkraut in 10 minutes <laughs> or four raw habanero chilies, each one 10 minutes apart? Oh, I can't do spicy. That's uh, the point. I'll have yeah. to do sauerkraut. <laughs> I don't think, you, yeah, I think that was all in your head. I don't think you mind I don't sauerkraut. like sauerkraut. I know, but I think it was in your head when we did it. Maybe if it was on time. a hot dog. <laughs> I like it. Um, Jeff, would you rather be locked in a room listening to someone whine and complain nonstop for 24 hours or have to go on national television wearing a pair of yellow Crocs? Crocs, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Uh, Jordan, would you rather be locked in a room listening to Jeff play his island game for 24 hours <laughs> yeah! without a break or hold a tarantula in your hands for 30 minutes? Oh, man. <laughs> no, a room. You have to stay in a room with me playing for 24 hours or a room full of tarantulas for 24 hours. No, she only has to hold the tarantula for 30 minutes. Well, that's an easy one. I don't know. A strange... Oh, spiders scare That's me. That's the whole point. As much as I hate his stupid game that he plays, I'd rather sit 24 hours. I'm scared of spiders. No, I know. <laughs> so I, she pretty I. much does it now when you're playing a game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so Jeff, we'll make that yours. Would you rather rub the foot of an overweight construction worker for one hour or spend 24 hours in a room of, of spiders? Tarantulas? Yeah. Or just spiders? Spiders. Mixture. A mixture of spiders. Mixtures like of that, spiders. Like that scene at the end of uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Yeah. Where he's in the oh thing my of God, snakes. that many? Only Wait, for one hour of a foot yeah. rub? One, yeah. One, I'll, I'll, do, I'll, do, I'll do one hour for each. So either one hour you have to massage the rub, rub the foot of an overweight construction worker. Because <laughs> you just know or he's one got hour, gnarly feet. Or one hour in a bug room. <laughs> or one hour in a bug room. I don't know. It sounds silly, but I would take. Uh, wait, feet. are they flying in my face and stuff? There's different analogies. They're spiders. You're in, a, you're in a room full of spiders. They're gonna do whatever they want. They're gonna crawl on you. They're gonna everything. Yeah, maybe I'd take the feet. I'd wear rubber gloves. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I could take like bugs in my ear and like, oh my god, you know, like when something like touches your ear. And, uh, but I'm I, picture, but I'm, I, I'm but kind I, of painting a bad picture for myself. In but, my head, they're everywhere. <laughs> But that's the point. The but Indiana I, Jones but, yeah. things got me. That's what I picture. But I love that you would rather do anything other than rub somebody's foot. <laughs> I know. Well, it's gross. You just have a whole foot thing. I hate in the summertime the spiders that are in trees and they just dangle and you walk into like the spider Well, webs. especially in North Carolina. They oh. were the worst in North Carolina. Here, I got one for you, Bob. This is We were actually talking about this. I don't know where I heard this <laughs> from, but it, it's on like a topic of conversation. Would you rather, well, it's for, I guess, everybody, but more so for guys. Would you rather, <laughs> this is kind of sexual. I'm but, so scared. No. Would you rather <laughs> give up oral sex for the rest of your life, or would you rather give up cheese? Giving or receiving? You Receiving. What do you mean giving? <laughs> what do you, yeah, of course. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah, it's different. <laughs> Never. <laughs> you idiot. I forgot. Sorry. Because that does make a difference for me. Either way, giving or receiving. I would have a harder time giving up giving. Are you serious? Uh huh. Holy there we, smokes! Welcome to the Bob Show, everybody. Man, I hope everyone's of age. Anyways, <laughs> okay. You my don't, boyfriend's very lucky. You would give up. You would. You give up cheese then? No. What do you mean? It's one or the other. I know. Well, if it, that's why I said if it's a difference. If it's receiving oral, I'd be like, oh, it's fine. So you take cheese. I'd take the cheese. But if it's giving up, giving oral, so long cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, cheese Louise. <laughs> you asked the question. This show is dirty birdie today. Oh my god. Don't dirty pop. Okay. Uh, so Jordan, it's we're back <laughs> Jordan, we're back to you. Uh would you rather be forced to drive during rush hour traffic on the freeways in LA or eat one pound of fish in one sitting? Oh, <laughs> You can eat fish, swordfish. No, she has to eat a whole pound, though. Just like raw fish. It's no, not swordfish. Just, just fish. No, I don't know. I don't know. I don't think it's good. It's, swordfish is too too good. Okay, if whatever. If it doesn't well, smell, then yeah, no, it's it's a good smell, like a trout. You have to eat a pound of trout. No, how about <laughs> harasushi? No, I'll, no harasushi. That doesn't count. If I want to eat fish. If it doesn't stink, then fish. If it was like cooked right, but if not, if it stunk like 
fish, then I'd rather sit in traffic. Sit in traffic. See, that's why. Thank God everybody sent all these things in. I was, I was these are funny. very uh, relatable. It, topics. Yeah, it funny things that you guys hated. Uh, Jeff, would you rather give up Portillo's for the rest of your life or cheese? Wow, someone <laughs> got that, huh? No, no, these are all me, but it was just based Oh, you, that's you? I wrote all of these, but I had people tell me like oh, what you guys love and hate. These are very, very crafty. Yeah, thank you. Crafted them myself. Portillo's. Mm. Yeah, I'd have to give up Portillo's, man, because che- just think about cheese. You know what I mean? Like, think about it. It's everywhere, and it's so delicious. Jordan, would you rather become best friends with Kelly Pickler okay. or fly to Italy for a two-week vacation with Carrie Underwood? Ooh. Best friends with Kelly Pickler. <laughs> Did you see? She won. I uh, was so excited. She was so good. Did Jordan thinks they're really going to be like friends one day. She's like, if I met her, I know yeah, we'd be friends. Yeah, if you stay in L.A., I was like, I did. I told Jeff, I was like, we'd be friends. I think they would, too. She wouldn't be my friend, though. Why not? I'm not a singer. Because I'll like, you know what I mean? Like all the singers. Oh, she would be friends together. with you, Jordan. That's not true. Uh, Jeff, would you rather spend four hours in bumper-to-bumper traffic late for an audition or two hours on the phone with Sprint customer service? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, for sure, That's the audition. <laughs> the four hours. They're both, I'm already getting a panic attack thinking about both of them. But in two hours on customer service, I get so worried. <laughs> I know you do. Uh, Jordan, would you rather have Maggie live forever or have Mag- or Maggie have the ability to speak English? Maggie live forever. Wait, can I live forever? What if I live, what if I died? Then you, you give just, her to your kids. Then you just broke her heart and she has to live with her kids. Yeah, <laughs> She just became like a vampire. <laughs> oh, no. No, have her live forever. Speaking of that, y'all, this is random. This just made me think of this. I posted this. Uh, I'm serious. Uh, you know the tornado that hit in yes. Oklahoma? Did you see the video the woman of who the found older it? lady yes. uh, with her dog? Yes. And she was given the interview? Yeah, we t- I talked about it on Monday. Did you end up oh watching it? Oh, my God. It? I didn't, I it was on Tuesday's show. Yeah, we talked yeah, about it. Yeah, we talked about it on the show on Tuesday. My I, I eyes cried. filled up with water. I, c- I couldn't stop crying because the the, do- the dog is literally laying under the rubble. And, and she's so, talking. And, and, and she, she's talking about how she's lost everything. Her whole house is just rubble. And the you, you hear one of the producers off camera... Wait, there he is. There he is. The and dog. They, and they go and they have to like lift him. Like they have to lift like lift like a door off. The, the dog is like trapped. Uh, yeah. And laying on its side because there's, there's, you know, all this debris on it. So the dog's just laying there. And Anderson Cooper rescued it? No, it was a, it was a random like evening news. She's like, but, oh, bless and they, your and they, heart. yeah, and they, so they lift it up and the dog is totally fine. fine. The dog starts walking around and she's crying and she's, you know, she's like, she's, she, like she's, 80. yeah, and she, and, you know, and she's an over, overweight older woman and, you know, and they say, you know, she's like, God gave me, you know, one prayer today by keeping me alive, and, and now He's given me two because of my dog. And I know. Cause that's all I could think about. Like, I, I'm like, I, I was like, I'm never letting Gus out of my arms. Because she like, said that, um, because he's probably buried under all this, um, um, all like the debris, everything, yeah. like all the wood, and then he was right. I wonder if like he heard her voice when she was giving the interview. Oh, and I'm talk, sure. How and that kind of made him move a little bit. To catch their eye, because it was a black dog, so he kind of blended yeah, he blends, in. He blends right. He blends right. Even when the camera zooms on to him, you don't see him at first. Like it's he was camo. Yeah, it was good. But anyways, I'm sorry. Okay, it's okay. We just have, we only have two more. So uh, well, actually, we only have one more. Jeff, would you rather get paid co-hosting the Bob Show or becoming Jason Mraz's personal foot masseuse without pay? <laughs> oh come on, that's <laughs> silly. Let's get some pay Jason up in Mar- here, Jason Mraz. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, that was fun. A little something to pass the time. We're going to take another break, and uh, we're going to come back, and who knows what we're going to do for the next, <laughs> next half hour. I got hour some questions. I found them on the internet. Okay, we good. Get, we'll, come, we'll, we'll come back. We're going to keep it PG. Let's keep it PG. It got a little gross. Uh, you know why it got gross? Because you didn't keep it PG. You're the one who asked about the I didn't oral know. Sex. I had no idea it was going to go there. I didn't even you fathom it going there. You asked about oral sex. What, where did you expect it to go? <laughs> Let's take a break. <laughs> Drivers, think before you drink and get behind the wheel. Designate a safe and sober driver. It may save a life. This message from JK Remodeling of New York, serving Staten Island with pride for over nine years.